So today we're here with nephrologist Vivek Bala in the lab today, and we're going to be discussing a little bit about rare genetic diseases. So I wanted to start off talking to you a little bit about the story that you had shared with me. So tell me about many years ago when you were in the hospital, kind of what you found and how this led you to be looking at rare genetic diseases. Sure. So um, a few years ago, uh, I was rounding in the hospital with our team, our um, nephrology trainees and medicine trainees. And we came across a young man who was on uh, dialysis for end-stage kidney disease. Um, it seemed very early to develop kidney disease. Uh, we talked to him a little bit longer and found out that his brother apparently uh, had the same thing happen. So his brother had kidney disease as a teenager. He'd already received a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. uh, got a blood sample at that time uh, and then discovered a mutation in the gene um, that was unknown before. It turns out no other family in the world has the same exact mutation. The researchers discovered a gene called CLCNKB, and this gene is important for kidney function. The mutation found affects how the CLCKB protein works. The CLCKB protein is involved in moving chloride ions in the kidney, which is important for maintaining the balance of various salts in the body. The mutation leads to problems with glycosylation, which is a process where sugars are attached to proteins, which is important for their function. This can cause issues in the distal tubules of the kidneys, which are parts of the kidney where urine is collected and salt balance is maintained. Uh, and then we, you know, we informed the family about it and got their permission to study it a bit further. Uh, and that's how this project was done. In the laboratory, the research team undertook a comparative study, introducing the normal DNA sequence into cells and comparing its behavior with that of the mutated version found in the family. Their discovery? This particular mutation affected the way the gene worked in a way that was different from any other known mutations in the same gene. This insight is crucial, especially for diseases like high blood pressure, which is closely linked to kidney function. Understanding how this mutation changes gene behavior could lead to new, more effective treatments in the future. As you can imagine, this is very low throughput science. You find one patient with one sure. mutation, and you do one set of experiments to help um, maybe one family. Right. Um, and that is not something that you can do in a high throughput fashion. It's very careful work. Sure. It's very important work, um, but it's also very slow and methodical compared to large scale um, studies that are done today. Um, but my hope would be that we could um, gather um, a army of collaborators, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to uh, really make headway in these variants of uncertain significance mm -hmm. across multiple kidney genes to inform scientific literature about how those genes work, uh, to better inform families if we're lucky enough to be able to go back to the family for any one particular variant. Sure. Um, and, and really make uh, make headway with genetic testing. I think genetic testing is a wonderful thing, but many of the genetic results that we have, we don't know what to do with, right. or we know that we can't do anything with them. Mm -hmm. I think being able to um, utilize what a patient has permitted us to do, which mm -hmm. is to look into their genome um, and to, to understand what's going on with them, gives us the opportunity to be able to, to learn more about the genes and we should take advantage of that. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.